Hi, I'd like to show you a cool new way to create interactive tutorials that you can run right inside the Cloud Shell environment. So to start with, let's take a look at this GitHub repo under Google Cloud Platform slash cloud-shell-tutorials. Now this repo contains a file called tutorial.md, which is a markdown specification of the desired structure and flow for my tutorial. Let's look at the underlying markdown syntax there. And we see a few things. There's one top-level header, and this defines the title of my tutorial. And then there's a sequence of second-level headers, where each second-level header corresponds to a discrete step in my tutorial. The rest of the file contains the usual markdown syntax formatting, like um, highlighting code snippets and command lines and things like that. There are also a few special commands like this walkthrough editor open file. What this does is it generates a hyperlink in the tutorial which when clicked will automatically open that specified file from the current repo in the Cloud Shell editor. So that's kind of roughly the syntax of one of these tutorials. Let's see it actually running live. So we'll go back up to the top level and in the readme for this uh, repo I have a hyperlink coded which runs that exact file. So what this does is it specifies the Cloud Shell URL. It tells the system which repo I would like automatically cloned. It says I'd like the Cloud Shell editor enabled by default. And the new piece here is this tutorial equals parameter, which defines a file in this repo to be interpreted as a tutorial in Markdown. So <clears throat> we're directing it at the tutorial.md file we just looked at. Let's click on that link and see what happens. So it's warning me it's about to auto-clone a repo into my environment. It instantiates the shell, clones that repo, starts up the Cloud Shell editor with that, all the files in that repo as a project, and it automatically started my tutorial on the right-hand side of the screen. As you can see, I have my title and my steps that I can go forward and backward through. It highlights some of the syntax like this echo command I get an automatic button to copy that to the clipboard, which I can then paste into a Cloud Shell. So a lot of nice authoring capabilities there. And I also have those special integrated directives I told you about. For example, if you wanted to direct somebody to click on this web preview button, rather than kind of direct them there through imagery or instructions, you can generate one of these URL or one of these hyperlinks, which when clicked, will automatically spotlight that portion of the screen. As you go through to the end, you can even generate a little widget that uh, gets feedback from the user as to what their experience was like with the tutorial. Uh, one last thing I want to show you is that you can actually run these tutorials right from the shell. And what I'm going to do is finish the tutorial, close it, and then invoke it again from over here. All I had to do was run Cloud Shell Launch Tutorial minus D for developer mode, and then the file in this current environment that I want to, to be the specification of the tutorial. And that starts it just like the hyperlink did in my previous example. So this is a nice way if you're, if you're an author and you want to test um, and iterate on a tutorial, this gives you the ability to do that right from the console. That's pretty much it. Um, I also wanted to point you to the documentation, which you can find under cloud.google.com slash shell slash docs slash tutorials. And there you can find more details about formatting your markdown and all of the different capabilities that are available, that those special features I mentioned for integrating your tutorial with the, with the console or the Cloud Shell environment. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope this gave you a sense for some of the powerful things you can do in authoring these tutorials in the, in the Google Cloud environment. Thanks.